Hi guys, Alex the Vegan Gamer, playing Bayonetta. Uh, I just went through the gates of hell before starting this level, because I want to get the crow within, so I just wanted to show you guys that I'm going to purchase this. Ooh, I can get something else afterwards. Alright, let's get out of here. And start a new chapter. So I'm going to be able to transform into a crow. Very cool. I wonder if there's like hidden areas I can go while flying. So this is chapter 6. The Gates of Paradise. 6. 6. Chapter 6. Yeah. Moving ground ruins. Yeah. I always have a look back. Just found a hidden object. Le Betsinar Waltz. Oh, that's also French. Hope 183. What does Hope mean? I don't know. Le Betsinar means uh, ice skaters? Yeah. Patin is Kate. And Patsinar is the person that's. that's skating, so. Ice skater. Whoa, look at that tornado! Whoa! That's so cool! Whoa! Cool. Okay, stern. No, there's not another one on this side. The wall is higher. Break this fountain. I guess not. Ah, hey, invisible man. Oh, there's a book on the other side. I'm gonna go get it. Entering the grid. Is there a secret area here somewhere? Oh, let me try my new technique, you guys. I can fly now. The ba da ba ba. Nope, invisible wall. Oh well, nowhere to go. But here. It's fastened tight with locks and chains. Nothing that should stop me from opening it, of course. Well, obviously. Whoa, cut him in half. I'm gonna take this whipping.
Platinum, that's good. Okay, so this puzzle is gonna allow me to open this gate. Oh, there's a statue here, but not on the other side. I'm gonna check. The surface has some beast-like footprints. Crawled upon it. Scrawled upon it. It seems like it is some sort of switch. I noticed that. What is this one? Same as the other one. That's weird. I just have to hurry? There you go. No! <laughs> I have to hurry. Alright. Let's do this quickly. Hey, there's an object up there. Let's go get it first. Mm, there doesn't seem to be anything else on the other side. Okay, so we have to do this quickly. What I'm gonna use you guys to do it is... Oh! Do I need to be the tiger to do this? Maybe I do. How do I transform into the tiger again? Unless... Maybe if I just do R1... <laughs> nope. I'll try it again, but I have a feeling I have to be in tiger form. Nah. Alright. How do I become a tiger again? Why does that say tiger? I mean a panther. Da, 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 da. Special techniques in a tome of Umbran arts. Oh, I remember now. I had to be running. I didn't find it. I didn't really look, but I think I remember. I have to run and press R2 twice. Ah. Uh. That little girl looks like me. She has glasses, I have glasses, she has black hair. I don't know. A little girl from my past. Am I supposed to jump down here? Oh, I'm just gonna transform. Oh, change weapons? Nope. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, cool. Whoa, should have dodged that. So 
As if my knives are... Ah. I didn't click in time. Well, I'm not gonna be getting a lot of points for this. He has a lot of eyes. Okay, Chikatan. And he has a skull necklace. kind of deserved only gold. I even thought I was gonna get made in silver. Hit an object! Alright! How many of these are there? Probably four? I would think four. Oh, there's a place up there. Is there a way for me to go up using this? Oh, it's cool that these knives kind of help me out. I don't think there is. I'm only gliding when I'm a bird. Oh well, maybe I'll figure it out at some point, if there's a way for me to actually fly up. So far, there only seems to be a way for me to glide. Alright. Too bad there weren't any monsters around. <laughs> Ooh, little girl. Oh. Uh huh. I guess they want me to be in panther form to do this? Not too sure. This I can do. It's strange, there's still stones that can be moved at the bottom. Oh! I'll have a pattern. Alright, there's a lever here. This, this will allow me to move these stones, or just step on the stones.
silver. Boo. <laughs> I think I prefer using a blade. Okay, let's run again. Whoops! <laughs> run twice. And another book. Notes on the topic of magic four. Some cruel torture device. Huh. Guess there wasn't much here. Let's go up this way. here. Oh, we're reaching the outside. There's obviously gonna be a monster to stop me from going there. Monsters, plural. Look at those. What happened? The bridge got destroyed. Well, yeah, that's something wise. Need to learn to dodge better. What's this weapon? An arch? Whoa, that's so cool. Is it an arch? Nope. Seems like two blades. There's a way down there. There's a way here. Vile poisonous liquid fills the area under the destroyed bridge. Trying to jump the gap while remaining in human form seems a bit dangerous. So they want me to transform into a panther, but considering that I just got the crow, I am going as a crow. Is there a hidden area somewhere? Hey you guys, I wonder if I can go down as a crow to see the area underneath. I'm gonna try it, and if I fall into the vile poison of purple stuff, uh, well, will just happen. Wait, let's go see again. Let's try this. Can I go down? How do I control this? This bird. I'm gonna try myself at it. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> nope. The, the witch hunts are over. Alright, let's try it this way, you guys. I'm gonna jump down, and once I, re I reach down enough, then I'm gonna press, double press R2. There you go. Got it this time. What? No. That is not fair. That is totally not fair. Yeah, I want to continue. What am I stupid? The shadow remains they, there's an invisible wall over that place. Hi. something from me come on that had to hurt <laughs> when your heels are in the bullets. I don't see the point of showing my butt to those monsters. They don't seem very sexual. Someone else your eye. Bird angels. Oh dear. Something tells me I'm going to regret this.
savior. But I suppose I can make an exception and kill all of you. Just this once, of course. This weapon's pretty cool. Well, I missed that. They're like in the parallel world. I'm in the parallel world as well. Alright. <laughs> Pull on that lever. Let me play among the stars. Let me see. A mother's love. I'm her mom. Was I just singing? Mommy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, little one. I am not your mother. But, Mummy... Will you quit calling me Mummy? <laughs> oh. if she even has a red ribbon. In this world, it's cockroaches and crying babies. Well, a crying baby cockroach would be truly terrible. So don't you dare cry. Cockroaches. Fine. You've got to be a strong little one to survive in a place like this. What's your name, anyway? Ceresa. Ceresa? You're not from Figrid, are you, little one? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from my house. Well, now. I'll hazard a guess this isn't your home. So what on earth are you doing here? My daddy told me to come here. And whereabouts is this daddy of yours? He was at work, but now I don't know where he's gone. I want to go home. <sighs> I can't just drag you along wherever I go, little one. So you'd better not be getting attached to me. Yes, mummy? Uh, she even has the accent. Come now, little one. I'll help you out of here, but that's all. And you have to promise there'll be no crying. A single tear and you'll be crying alone. Got it? Okay, mummy. Oh. Okay, mummy. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> hey, where's the little girl? All right, you guys, I'm gonna save right here. Well, I'm not really gonna save. I'm gonna stop the video right here, and I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to save the animals, kick some monsters, but. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, let's read notes on the topic of Magic 4. Everyone carries within them a record of their evolution as a being, since time immortal. It is this inner knowledge that the magical arts call upon when a practitioner uses the transformative technique known as Beast Within. That's when we transform into either the Crow or the Panther, Black Panther. While there is very little documentation regarding this technique, it is comparatively easy to guess at its workings. It is even easier when one considers how many works of art depicting these condition fill museums to this very day. 
these works capture the very moment when a witch transforms herself into an animal. Present day interpretations never seem to escape the realm of dismissing these works as an artist's daydreams. However, when viewing from a different perspective, they are an important reference point in researching the magical arts. These pictures illustrate the unbelievable transformation of a number of which via the most special of means, seeing her take the form of various animals. The witches were able to freely use this technique, transforming into beasts from incredible speeds to birds to send themselves soaring into the sky. Alright, what next? Okay, I got... Uh, let's read Rodin and the Gates of Hall. There is a place beloved by wanted men and rogues, where money and power rule all. It is where I have established my office. Those who call this place by its given name are instantly identified as newcomers. As the tired hands of this rat hole, I'll call it by a single name only, the dump. Bloody battles and dirty disputes over money are an everyday occurrence here and the concept of concern for one's fellow man was long since lost on the dump's denizens. What the people here are after, what they love to see, is not of this world. The first for the uproar only the occult can inspire. Their appearance of the specter, a man being devoured by a demon, these are the snacks they eat as they drink and carve art in the dumps numerous watering holes. It is this place that I have come on my pilgrimage in search of grasp on reality. The dump is a wretched hive for all sorts of scum and villainy, home to everyone from black market businessmen to informants and devil hunters in between. But amongst them all, one man is particularly strange. His name is Rodin proprietor of the Gates of Hell bar. His friend may be that of a bartender, but a, but a rumor has it that he's actually an arms dealer. And we know that for a fact, because he has given me arms in exchange for discs. Like all discs. Of course, if a man such as, him, such as myself were to visit his establishment, there's no way all of his secrets would be laid bare. However, I can tell just by the air around him that he is a dangerous man, unlike the standard assortment of tugs in the place. His is a sort of danger on a truly different level. According to my colleagues, if one carries enough clout here, Rodin is known to provide a gun or blade should the feat prove satisfactory. That is all I have been able to wring out of people here. There are also rumors that if you enter the bar from some sort of hidden entrance, he will provide you things that money cannot buy. Or so say it the gossips in this occult obsessed town. They even go so far as to say these things are not made via normal means but are weapons made from materials available only in Inferno. In the dump, there are enough rumors to rot one's ears. And if I hadn't seen the fresco of the Trinity of Realities, a staple of the Vigrandian religions on, Odin, on Rodin's wall, I would have dismissed talk of him as nothing more than these tale, tall tales. In any case, if I am able to fully investigate this man's secrets, I will surely be able to obtain the truth I so desperately seek. However, aimless sniffing around in this town is a great way to wind up dead. I have to be prudent and not leave things to chance. For information on well-being and animal rights, 
check out my website, hoffenethics.com.